So this is a story of how unit testing made me cry. And it literally did. I was sitting right here and I was so, so sad. Oh. No, I wasn't sad. It was, it was the relief of the pressure and the relief of the stress. Like stress doesn't make me cry, but when it's building and building and building and then there's a sudden release, then, you know, that happens. So <laughs> this is a lesson to myself and to anyone else who struggles with this kind of thing. I finished my native app and the drivers are using it and everything's great. And <clears throat> I wrote some docs for it. And my next thing to do was to write some unit tests. Why? So I could leave it. And when I come back to it and try refactoring or adding something, I don't break everything, right? That's one of the great things about unit tests or and integration test testing in general, right? So I did not realize how complicated and involved it was going to be. You take a tutorial, like a beginner's tutorial, and it seems very straightforward, very simple. I get this, okay, great. But those are super simple apps with like a button and an input field, right? They are not huge complex apps with multiple libraries uh, using APIs and all this stuff. It, yeah. So my app is a little more complicated than the apps on the tutorials. Let's just put it that way. So I was running into these issues and they were just revealing how little I still understood. But I felt a time pressure. I felt like I couldn't just take the time, days, weeks, whatever it was, to really learn, in this case, Jest and React Testing Library and all that it involves uh, so that I can actually get it into my code. <clears throat> so I had this time pressure, or I thought I did, but it turns out that I was mostly imposing it on myself. Now I'm still very new. You know, I've been, I've had a job for about six months now. And in terms of asking for help and communicating and understand what are realistic expectations, I'm still learning. And I finally talked to my manager about what I was going through asking what the expectations are, whether this was even really important, like shouldn't I be moving on to other things that are more important? No, he confirmed that writing tests is actually important, even though it doesn't seem important to someone like me, a beginner, mostly still a beginner. Um, and so that was good, just to have that affirmed again and again, that I was working on something important because when I'm making things work and writing new features and different things, it feels, I can actually feel like I'm doing important stuff and I can see the results and it's beautiful. Um, so after he affirmed that and after I expressed what the situation was and that I would probably need a lot more time to learn what I needed to learn in order to do this, and he was okay with that. That's when the flood came. <laughs> Thankfully it was after my call. Like I ended the call and then I was like, <laughs> you know. Um, but now I can legitimately say that unit testing made me cry. So there you go. Um, now, since then, as I've been taking my time learning, first of all, learning can't be forced. That's another lesson from this, which I knew before, but I guess I kind of forgot. Um, is that you can't rush learning, you can't force learning. In fact, I find something I find, like when I'm coding and adding features, actually coding and working on things like that, I can last about three hours before I need a break. But when I'm learning, learning new concepts and trying to absorb things, I can only work for like half that time before I need a break because my brain is just trying to process this completely new stuff. So that was another thing I had to adjust to. And that's more like when I was teaching myself to code from the beginning, it's like, that's that's usually what it was. It was about an hour and a half and then I needed a break. And an hour and a half, I need a break, etc. So just 
getting back in that mode again after not really being there for several months uh, was was good to to get back to you. Um, meanwhile, all that I'm learning about testing, I can see how this is going to make me a supremely better developer. For one thing, writing tests will teach me what how <laughs> teach me to write testable code code that is more easily testable so for example um dumb components right so components that just display something take props and display something instead of having the functions and the logic within there so having like a container and a component that would be much more testable and making it more modular so like for example I do have some functions that have some nested logic in there that I could make into separate functions and just make the code more reusable, more modular that way. And basically I see a lot of ways I could refactor my code to make my ability to test it much less painful, uh, much more straightforward. So, and in that sense, like I can see how writing these tests will help me i mean i might actually get hooked on this don't tell anyone that sounds bad still at this time <laughs> but if it came naturally and i understood it and knew what to do i could even see like the test driven development approach and why a lot of more experienced developers uh go towards that so anyway that's been my experience with unit testing so far unit and integration testing i know i just say unit testing um, so we'll see. It's not making me cry anymore so far, but there's always going to be more stuff to make me cry. But it's only because I love it so much. Only the stuff I really love make me cry at a certain point because it's just so beautiful. <laughs> no, but it pushes you, it taxes you, it makes you grow. And uh, yeah, it was good. It was good. Oh my goodness, only seven minutes? Seriously? Oh well. I'm supposed to do these 10 minute things. What else could I say about unit testing? No, I'm done. <laughs>